I'm really, really excited about this purchase. So the title of the video is you're color correcting wrong, but in reality it's about accuracy. So as you already probably know, every screen, every monitor, every phone looks a little bit different in different lighting environments. Some might be more warm, some might be more cool, some sharper, some more contrast. So I've been delivering videos for years now and my monitor is not accurately calibrated. For some projects I go to a colorist and we go into a coloring room, but for most of the stuff that I do, I color it myself and my monitor is just calibrated it to my eye to what I think is neutral but that's gonna all change today because I ordered this all right here we go here's what we got this is what we ordered the data color spider 5 pro there's basically a little thank you message with a URL on it and then there's the device itself so the way the device works is the back here serves as a lens cap and you just pull it open this here is what goes onto the screen and then the lens cap slides up and down the USB cable and serves as a counterweight so that it sits on the monitor properly. Calibrating is super easy. Go to the URL provided, download the software for your operating system, install and then launch the program. From there you'll confirm that your monitor is warmed up and in the proper lighting environment. You want to make sure you don't have any lamps, windows, or other lights hitting the screen. Whether it's a desktop or laptop, I'm just going to accept the default settings and then place the Spider 5 on the monitor. Adjust your monitor brightness and press update until the indicator lands in the green section. It's really that easy. Just pick a name for your new display profile, hit next, and you're good to go. You can see when I click back and forth between the default and the new color profile created by the Spider 5 that in my two monitor setup, the Apple Cinema display was much warmer and the Sony was much cooler. When I was coloring before, I didn't know which monitor to trust, but now you can see that the two displays are nearly identical in color, contrast, and brightness. I'm really excited about this purchase. I think it's a great addition to my post-production workflow. And I think it's gonna really help me deliver my videos with confidence. So it's awesome to have a good camera, it's awesome to have a good display, but without that industry standard baseline for color, then that level of confidence is not gonna be quite as high. I went with the Data Color Spider 5 Pro because of the research that I had done and it seemed to be right for me. I would encourage you to do your homework and you know, see what fits your budget and your situation and how many opportunities you get to like step your game up for such a low cost. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. Please ask any questions that might come up. I'll answer them in the comments below. Our plan is to put out more fashion editorials, short documentaries, how to's and review videos. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely subscribe.